Stocks, securities, cryptocurrencies, funds, all of these may sound like great investments to you, but for Bill Gates, one of the richest men on earth, all he cares about is farmland. Bill Gates, along with his ex-wife Melinda Gates, happens to be the largest private farmland owner in the United States, owning land that's the size of a small country. But why did Bill Gates decide to invest in so much farmland? What are some of the benefits of it? And what are some of the other, highly lucrative investments Bill Gates has made over the years? Let's get into it. Here's the thing. Farmland isn't usually on the radar for many investors, but around 2021, many people started to notice that Bill Gates not only owned a lot of farmland, but he was continuously investing in it as well. The reason why farmland was so unpopular was that there were just too many barriers to entry in this market overall. There was a lack of professionals, most of it was family owned, and there were so many alternatives to invest in. But after the 2008-2009 financial crisis, investment groups were hungry for alternatives to the usual bonds and gold to have a safe haven of sorts for their money. Because of this, many turned to farmland as a way to store their funds, sort of like a bank account that's constantly increasing in value. One of these investment groups was called Cascade Investment, which was owned and controlled by the Gates family. It's believed that Cascade Investment started buying thousands of acres of farmland every single year following the financial crisis. And by 2014, the firm had already bought over 100,000 acres of land in California, Iowa, Louisiana, and other states as well. In the mid-2010s, Cascade started to make some major investments, with the biggest one yet being their $520 million purchase of over 61 properties from the CPPIB. The following year, Cascade made a $170 million purchase of over 14,500 acres of farmland in Washington state. This made Bill Gates the largest private farmland owner in the United States. He owns a total of 240,000 acres of land, roughly the size of the entire country of Singapore. His holdings span across 19 U.S. states, with the largest being in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Arizona. In 2021, Bill Gates was doing an Ask Me Anything Q&A on Reddit to promote his book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. During the Q&A, one Redditor asked Bill exactly why he was buying so much farmland. Many people had assumed that it had something to do with climate change and sustainable farming. However, in this reply, Bill Gates rejected that theory. He said that buying farmland was just something that his investment group decided to do and it was not related to climate. Now, Bill Gates' investment group is literally owned and fully controlled by him since he acts as its chairman, so this was pretty much a non-answer from Bill. The reason why he chose not to answer that question properly is, well, because buying farmland is one of the finance world's best kept secrets. Keep watching until the end of the video to find out exactly why buying farmland is such a good idea and what some of the other smart investments that Bill Gates has made are. The thing is, there is a total of 911 million acres of farmland owned by all sorts of different investment companies in the US. Bill Gates, despite being the largest owner of them all, is still just a drop in the ocean when compared to the whole market. Almost all of Bill Gates's farms earn some sort of profit. They produce beef, soybeans, corn, potatoes, and other staples in American diets. Some of this produce might have even ended up on your plate. Farmland has three sources of revenue, rent, crop payments, and appreciation. If you thought Bill or Melinda were out there growing these crops themselves, you're wrong. This farmland is rented out to farmers who actually do the work for them. On this land, Bill might also own some of the crops, livestock, and other revenue-generating assets, all of which can earn incredible returns. If you were to compare farmland to some of the other common ways to invest, you'll know exactly why Bill and so many other billionaires are investing in them. From 1992 to 2020, the U.S. stock market grew by an average of 7.8% a year, U.S. bonds grew by 5.5%, real estate by 8.8%, and REITs by 9.94%. Farmland, on the other hand, grew by a staggering average of 10.85% every year during the same time period. On top of that, farmland is a lot less volatile when compared to these investment methods. The volatility of farmland was around 6.84% during this time period, while for stocks or gold, it was 16.9 and 14.8% respectively. Another great reason why so many investors like Bill Gates put their money into farmland is that it's a great avenue for portfolio diversification. Diversification is something that every investor strives towards and the smartest investors have very diverse portfolios. In the case of Bill Gates, a few billion dollars spent on hundreds and hundreds of thousands of acres of land might seem like a massive investment, but when you compare it to his net worth of over $134 billion, you'll notice that it only makes up a small portion of his portfolio. In short, buying farmland was a way for Bill Gates to diversify his portfolio. But despite Bill Gates also saying his farmland investments 
have nothing to do with the environment, there's plenty of reason to believe otherwise. The Gates Foundation has sustainable farming as one of the biggest agendas. Gates' personal farmland could be a testing ground for sustainable farming practices that the Gates Foundation might be working on. It's not really that far-fetched of an idea, considering a Cascade Investment spokesperson once told the media that Cascade is very supportive of sustainable farming. The truth is, the planet is growing rapidly in population. In many parts of Africa, a single couple may have as many as five to six children on average. With that in mind, the world is also urbanizing rapidly, and it has led to the amount of farmland that's actually available for purchase declining at a massive pace. In order to keep up with the growing demand for food as the global population starts to rise, sustainable farming, which would allow for a lot more food to be produced, is almost necessary. This is not only going to help the world, but there will also be a lot of profit involved for the owners of these farmlands. The Gates Foundation will be at the forefront of actually developing new farming practices, technologies, and innovations. And the reason why Bill Gates didn't just say his investments were for the environment was, well, because they weren't. His investments were for profit. The profit will be earned in a sustainable, environmentally friendly way, but that's going to be the main driving factor behind it all. But the underlying theme in all of these investments is that Bill Gates is investing in the future. He believed that the pursuit of profit is going to come up with solutions that help our world. Some of Gates' other big investments include a $10 billion investment in three different vaccine companies. Through the Gates Foundation, Bill then worked towards making vaccines far more accessible all around the world. And before he knew it, his $10 billion investment brought in over $200 billion worth of economic benefit according to CNBC. Had he invested the same amount of money in the S&P 500 index fund, his investment would only be worth $16 billion today. That has pretty much been Bill Gates' brand since the very beginning. After all, he founded Microsoft at a time when computers were considered the future. When computers actually became the present, Bill Gates became the richest man on earth. Today, with his farming investments, he's doing the exact same thing. He knows that sustainable farming is the future and he's going to pioneer some of these practices. When these sustainable practices become the present, you know his investments are going to be worth a lot more than they are right now. Bill isn't the only billionaire who's investing in farmland. There are also other billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, Ted Turner, and many other big names that are betting big bucks on farmland. We often think of farms as a thing of the past, but food is something all of us need, regardless of the time period. These farmland investments are not something only the rich can do, though. For the longest time, this was the case. Only the super rich could actually afford to buy farmland, and the remaining people were only able to rent farms and earn a measly income from them. But now, things are a lot different. There are now ways that you can actually crowdfund investments. Instead of buying a whole asset, you can own just a small part of one. This applies to things like stocks and securities, but now it also applies to real estate and farmland. You would still earn your fair share of the profit and any increase in value would also result in the value of your share increasing. Aside from that, there are also real estate investment trusts or REITs. We talked about these earlier, but this is essentially a portfolio of real estate and properties that you can invest in. There are a couple of farmland-related REITs out there, such as the Gladstone Land Corporation and Farmland Partners. The great thing about REITs is that the portfolios are already diversified while staying in the farm business. On top of that, if you stick to farmland-related REITs, you'd also be getting all of the benefits of investing in farmland itself, such as higher annual returns and lower volatility when compared to stocks or gold. It's important to note that even though you do get many of the same benefits, these funds are ultimately tied to the stock market, so you'd also have to deal with fees and the volatility of the stock market itself. But aside from that, many people are also buying farmland as an alternative to buying real estate in cities. Not only is it going to be much cheaper for a lot more land, but you can also earn a much bigger income by owning farmland, renting it, selling crops, and other produce. But whether it's you, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, or anyone else in the world, it's pretty clear that at this point, Sustainable farming is one of the most underrated investments that anyone can make right now. It's almost like a countdown to when the market is really going to spike, and it'll be very interesting to see where things go from here. That's a wrap for how much farmland Bill Gates owns. What's your biggest takeaway from Bill's investments? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.